Hey, my name is Brian and I'm with Joint Forces K9. Today we are going to be introducing Jaeger, our new puppy, first day, first training session, uh, climb. Um, he's about 12 weeks old. He's a German Shepherd long hair. Um, so I'm going to see if I can lure him onto here. He's not too interested in me, as you can see. But I'm going to see if I can get his attention over here. Good boy. Awesome. I'm going to say free. Just to allow him to come off, already showing him that I'm the one letting him free off of there. Good boy. If he goes on there on his own, I'm gonna go ahead and reward it. Free. Awesome, good job, buddy. Now I'm gonna see if I can get his attention to do a sit. Yeah, you're slowly luring him back. He's very mouthy. Trying to get him to where his butt's on the ground, all four paws. Good boy. Good. Right now, I'm just kind of saying good boy to him, just because he is showing somewhat attention to me, but he's not doing the sit. Oh, there we go. Good boy. Free. Yeah. And I'm going to make sure I say free again, just to show that I'm releasing him from that. We're going to be working with Jaeger on his walk, um, just making sure we can get him to our side. It is his first day, so I'm going to do a lot of luring and just have a slip leash on him so there's not any negative influence. I will not be correcting him during this moment. I will just be rewarding him anytime he's beside my heel. So I might have to turn a lot. I might have to kind of just nudge him this way or that way, but we don't want anything too much of a, like going to be a correction. So we're going to go ahead and start with some Bill Jack. Jaeger, I'm going to say his name, get his attention. So he's just kind of going everywhere right now. I'm not really getting his attention. He's not wanting to come up beside me. Oh. He's getting a little closer, but still not quite where we want him. But I'm going to show the treat, trying to get him a little bit closer. Jaeger, hey, come on, buddy. I want to go ahead and make sure he's staying on my left side. Good boy. Yeah, good job. There we go. So it takes a little bit sometimes for him to want to get beside us because he's going to be going everywhere he wants to go. But I'm going to try and get him to where he'll go right beside me now. Hey, buddy. So I'm trying to get his attention. He's losing interest. He's not really look, focusing on me right now. Hey, hey, come on. Really trying to get his attention, showing him the treat. Uh, he showed a little bit of interest, but still not want to go to it. There we go. Good boy. Awesome. Oh, and then he did a sit, which is awesome. He's offering things now, so he knows how to get his reward. That's kind of what we want. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for today with Jaeger. Um, as you can see, he's pretty worn out. And he's just kind of laying down. He's still paying attention to me, which is awesome. Um, in the future, what we're going to kind of be working on is a little bit more luring, but then we'll start taking away the luring, especially once he knows the commands. Um, so as far as I noticed today, he is already offering a sit, which is awesome. So I'm probably going to start marking that within the next couple of days, just because he knows that position and I'm just going to pair the word with that position. Um, a couple things he, I think he kind of needs work on is really getting his attention on me in the walk. He's very distracted with other things going on. We have other dogs around here. We have people walking around. Um, and just really getting his attention on the walk so that he's paying more attention to me than maybe another dog to where he won't go out. So hopefully in the future what's going to happen is he's just going to kind of be doing really well in his heel position. I'm not going to be really rewarding him at all unless he does something awesome, especially around distractions. And then also just having him do a sit and a down. And then we'll also have a little bit of a recall to where it's on the leash. And then also a longer time on the climb. So once the dogs know the positions, especially sit down in a climb, we're going to start introducing distance and duration, just making sure they stay on there longer, but then also I can go towards the end of the leash and making sure they stay in position. Another thing that we'll introduce, especially towards the end of it, is distractions. Making sure they're not going to break their commands for a child running by, a dog running by, a cart shaking. We want to make sure the dogs stay in their positions at any given moment with distractions or anything else going on. Hey guys, I'm back with Jaeger. Um, this is about his two weeks now. We've been going over on leash obedience with him and just working on his climb slash place command, his sit, his down, heel slash walk command, and then also a recall. Um, right now he's actually in his climb slash place command. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate that by releasing him and then getting him back up here. Uh, now he has his whole space to move around on. He can sit on it, he can lay down on it, 
He can have treats on it. Good boy. And we're going to go ahead and reward the small things and making sure we're rewarding the calm behaviors. All right, so now I'm going to release him and then get him back onto the climb. Ready? Free? Good boy. Good. Jaeger climb. Good. And so now he's capable of moving around on here. He can sit on it. He can lay down on it. Um, at the beginning, we were having a little bit of trouble of kind of using leash pressure to get him onto the climb. Now he's getting on here no problem. And we also had to use a lot of treats to lure him back on here. All right, so now we're going to be showing his progression with the walk slash shield command. At first, he was kind of all over the place, just running around, doing circles around me. Um, and then he just was paying no attention. I couldn't get his attention on me. He's distracted by the littlest things. So now he actually will stay beside me. There's going to be a lot of distractions as we kind of walk down. There's going to be cars going by, people coming in and out of stores. And we're just going to try and keep his attention on us. So every single time he looks at me, I'm going to reward him. Anytime he kind of gets out of position away from me, I will correct him. I'll say no, provide a leash correction, and then recommend walk. All right? Walk. Good boy. So he's got great attention. Awesome. Good. I'm going to go ahead and reward. He's getting a little out, but he's staying close. Good. Nope. Good boy. As you can see, he's still staying by my side, giving me a lot of attention. Anytime he's distracted, if I want to get his attention, I can make some kind of noise. Good boy. So every single time he looks, I'd reward him by saying good boy and giving him a treat. Good, and as you see, as I came to a stop, I didn't tell him to sit, but he sat on his own. That's all part of our healing process, so that way whenever we meet someone, he'll stay beside us, and we're already ready to start walking again. So he's not out in front of us, jumping on anyone, greeting other dogs. He's staying beside us and working on his sit command. Yeah, you're down. Good boy. And so we also worked on a down command. As you can see, Jaeger went to his down. We did do a little bit of luring with him because he is still a puppy and he's learning, but that's okay. Um, at first, he wasn't even capable of going into down or even luring. He kept fighting it and pushing against it. Um, he just didn't want to go into the down position. Now, I'm also going to show we can also create distance between us now, and we have distractions still going on. People getting out of cars, cars going by, coming out of stores, there's leaves blowing around, and we're still staying in a down. Now, he can also do this in the sit and the climb command as well. We work on that distance, we work on distractions, and we also work on that duration which helps a lot of times with people, especially if they have crazy hyper puppies like he was in the beginning. It helps with calming him down a lot more. Always reward the calm behaviors. Good boy. All right, guys, so this is just kind of showing the progression of our two-week board and train. And if you guys have any questions on how to get your puppy started the right way, or maybe you have an older dog and you'd like to go hang on the right track of on-leash obedience or maybe off-leash obedience, you can call us at 479-802-0775, or you can come and hop on our website at jointforcescanine.com. Good boy. Free! Yeah.